It started out with one team last year, but by this fall, Fairfax County will launch the fourth co-responder team. A mental health clinician joins a patrol officer trained in crisis intervention on behavioral health calls. And once we get our full teams uh, up and running, we will have coverage across the county. Uh, already they are responding all over the county, but it'll be just a little bit easier to get that coverage across the county. Lieutenant Joanna Culkin of the crisis intervention team updated the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors Tuesday. She says since the program started in 2021, there's been close to 1,300 responses. The teams resolved over half of the calls in the field. About 30% prevented a possible arrest or hospitalization, and over a quarter received referral to more care. Uh, we know that we're in the midst of a mental health crisis for a lot of different reasons, and the numbers show that. The co-responder unit is just one prong of a county and regional-wide approach working to improve services. But county leaders say they want the entire patrol force trained in crisis intervention. Currently, it's less than 40%. Officials say there is still a shortage of 200 officers and lack of beds in crisis centers. I think mental health is the issue of our of our decade and and we've uh once we solve the facility piece, I think we're a long way down the road. Meanwhile, the county is planning to add another tool by deploying tablets to two police stations for a telehealth pilot. Officers can connect a person needing help to a behavioral health expert out on scene. Ideally, yes, we would always be able to have a co-responder unit respond, but to supplement in those off times, we are looking at things like the, the tablet or a telehealth pilot to kind of improve that reach. On top of that, the county is now trying to create a new follow-up system by pairing up a mental health clinician with someone with lived experience to to connect with that person who needed help to make sure they have proper services moving forward. In Fairfax tonight, Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.